Hello everybody, welcome back to my Mass Effect Andromeda. So, like, as soon as I hit the record button, a scene to end last the recording last episode, a scene started playing out. So, we, I wasn't fully paying attention because I was focused a little bit over here, but I believe we only missed a couple lines of dialogue. I missed it too, so I'll have to catch it my next playthrough and know what happened or look it up or something. But we don't miss too much of it. So I did we did a few things last episode on the ship and then went to Aya uh, and now I'm going off to Kadara after this episode or er, scene. So that it's, is a surprise. What are their expectations? Um, uh, who are we talking about? Uh, I don't know who we're talking about. I don't, I, hold on. I, I, They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. I I couldn't say don't be yourself. <laughs> That's bad advice all around. But being respectful is a good idea. Um... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still not quite sure what happened because I missed the first bits of dialogue. But to say don't be yourself just seemed like the wrong choice. Alright, anyways. In here, Jaw? No. Hey, Vetra. You're here. You have anything to say? I always have time for you. You probably no, have more to we're do. going to Katara. You don't have you anything to say. All right. Anyways, what I can do right now is because I bought iron. This is what I needed to be able to build this. Let's see. Power damage to armor. I'll take that. Do I have a health one? No. Okay. Duration boost. Power of course. Combo radius. Combo damage. Shields, damage the shields. All right, I'll take that. All right, and I will deal with that in a minute. I don't have enough AVP to buy anything else yet. Surely Drag will have something to say about going to Kadara. Pathfinder. No. We can talk more later. Sure. All right. I expected you to have something to say about that, but I guess not. I'm going to do the armor here because I can add another mod to you. Hovering. 100% hover duration. 
That's weapon damage. Okay, nope. None of those. Whee. Come on. Your Moshe is tough. Reminds me of my mom. Is she the heart of your community as well? She never had to stand her ground against the Phalanx of Ket. But she put up with me. Heroic efforts all <laughs> <laughs> You dick. Well, you, you are kind of a hard man to put up with, Liam. You are kind of a jerk sometimes. I mean, at least you're honest and blunt. Tev Uni. A home on Vold. Sort of. Still feels good, though. We'll talk later. I know it. At least you had something to say. I always have time for you. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time. <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me, and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and That's she rough. joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Oh. Their children survived. I think you're interesting and... Well, great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. What do you think? Yes, I'd like that. <laughs> That's it? You are a lovely woman. Fascinating. A brilliant oh. risk taker. Knowing you better would be a gift. Sincerely. Okay then. Oh. Uh. About that. <laughs> I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong. That makes and me clear. smile a lot. <laughs> it gives me warm fuzzy feelings. All right, mental wellness. Seems like good time to refresh you on mental wellness program. This, it's that mental disorders are real. They are. Some people say that they have them when they don't, but they are real, and they are a real problem. Have I personally have some PTSD from the car accident I was in, and I have situational anxiety. I don't know if that's the actual term for it, but only certain situations give me anxiety. I don't have anxiety all the time. It's just very specific situations. And there are times where I can be in those situations, not be anxious, depending upon where my focus is and what's happening with me personally at that time. Depression. One could make the argument for me having depression because I do have bouts where I fight depression, but I don't have it. I don't fight it all the time. So I guess like, but that's not really something caused by situation. On and off depression. Not, not really bipolar level, but sometimes I get really depressed. And other times I have random bursts of energy. But I wouldn't say I have, like, I don't know. It's hard to, hard to explain that one for me. Because it, it 
as far as I'm aware, it doesn't, my problems with depression doesn't quite fit into the definition of having depression or not having depression. So, I don't know. But yeah, I agree. They are real. They are relatable. At some point, your colleagues have likely experienced the same feelings. Yep. Everybody can relate to some level. To some degree, they can relate. Not everyone can relate completely, but everyone can relate to some degree. Treatable. Yep. New ex evacuation plan cut 22 seconds off this time. Need a solution. I read that already. Tavon, what's it made from? Is it sweet? Or more like beer. Tavon in a pleasant non tox intoxicant stirred into hot water or fruit juice. Stay Tavon. Or er, say Tavon. What happens if you mix it with booze? Does it get better or do they cancel each other out? We need to do some scientific tests. Maybe with little umbrellas. <laughs> Drive cord noise. No need to panic about the drive cord noise this morning. Just to stress us. There's nothing wrong with an 0500 wake up call. Profanity deleted by a phone board. <laughs> Objective verbing nouns. Kill. The, um, if the VI learns to censor all language, I'm making you reprogram it. Educational, in a way. Talking about dinner. There's a mug magnetized sideways to a bulkhead. It's mine, I just put it down for a sec. Next time, maybe empty it first. <laughs> that on. Just didn't read it. I haven't read that at all on this playthrough, apparently. Alright, anyways. Give me a second to deal with my armor change. I also might change this. I don't know, I feel like this suits this writer. Alright. Just... So I can know which pieces are which. All right, so. These I want to be black. I believe I want this to be black as well. And this to be purple. Um, where even is this pattern now? There we go. And I'm going to make this purple too, just because... There's that much purple. Here we go. That works. Okay. Armor dealt with. Onward we go to Kadara. Anomaly detected. Yeah, this is a new anomaly. Probe away. Getting a scan. Uh. 
Oh, this... according to that astronomer Anaya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. I was kidnapped. Where is the second nav point? Continue. I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Safe journeys. I need to search vote for an Garen relic. Okay, is it going to tell me where that is? All right, here it is. Investigating satellites, apparently, actually. Investigating satellites. And I'll go to Qatar after I got this done. Uh, hmm. Anomaly on sensors. Looks like it's right there. Deploying probe. I found something. They're all like right up against skirts. You're sure that astronomer's nav points are correct? He seemed to think so. There's nothing out here. The scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. They can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. Well, hmm. missing satellites. Someone stole them. Here, I thought this was going to be a straightforward thing. Is that it? Probe away. Anomaly found. There's one. Let me guess. No Angoran satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Angaran ship. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. Let's go. All the way back there, eh? I totally got sidetracked. Like, I'm going to go to Qatar this episode. And completely sidetracked. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. I found something. An... Oh, there's a ship. Stand by. I'm cutting through heavy interference from the scourge. We are pretty close for comfort. Something's drifting just inside. And Garn ship in pieces. No life signs. Mm. Who did this? Ket? I found the ship's log, scanning and downloading. Scavengers. The Angara caught them stealing satellites. The scavs fought back, and the Angara collided with the scourge. Can we find the scavengers? I have their ship's transponder ID. Is registered out of Kadara port. Oh, we are going to Kadara after all. I didn't lie, we're going to Kadara. System, Kavorka. Approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? 
group of exiles called the outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Probe away. I found something. I don't really need to scan private planets anymore, so... I mean, I can still do so in case that there's materials. Now orbiting Kadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloane Kelly. She was head of Nexus Sloan. Security. Be ready for anything. And keep comms open. I've not heard anything good Contact about Sloane. I've not heard anything specific, really. But I've not heard anything good about her. My friends don't like her. That's about how I, as much as I know, but typically that's good indication of Incoming someone's personality. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna, got it. All right. One hell of a welcome sign. Yeah. Have stepped up their game since the revolt. I personally, I don't like anyone who puts their heads on the sticks at their entrance. Off the station with nothing to show for it. The only exception I have is Shax and Destiny, or maybe Drag if he did so. But that's not a good first impression. I already knew those guys somewhat before I realized that they had dead body parts around them. Uh, uh. I mean, some, most of them, I don't think are bad people, probably. It's just the head honchos that preyed on their fears and stuff. Uh Yeah, lies with these smaller people. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. Um, guys. I didn't even choose who came with me. They just, they chose themselves that they were the ones go that were going to come with me. I have a feeling they're here specifically to make sure nothing happens to Raider. Or at least that's one of the reasons. I mean, surely not the only reason. Is there something to scan here? There it is. I don't have time for your crap. Sheesh. How rude. No weapons at all at this port. Hmm. I'm... I'm torn between whether I feel that's a good idea or a bad idea. 
You can't do this. Hey. Hey, don't do that. And nothing they weren't expecting. The Court's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. Dare you. Protection fees. What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kandara. You got a problem with that? You yes, I do. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's uh, true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. You're the creep, man. I don't like this place. I don't like them at all. No way to treat someone. Where are you? Pathfinder. Interested in the collective services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Officially, nothing. Unofficially? Lines are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. The charlatan is our leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen them in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met very Cerberus to me. People who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. You Whoever mean like the elusive man. Man or woman, they provide information, care, resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. I'm having trouble nailing down what the collective is exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. Hmm. It sounds very cerberus -y to me. Oh, I think I know this thing. Maybe? Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said... You look like you're waiting for someone. Hmm. I don't drink. Not interested. Shayna, but you can call. I mean, I'll try. I'll try drinks. I I've tried the guys' drinks in the vortex. I don't drink. Kangaran. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Not how I would dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. 
explore what I work slow I and what way. You didn't really give me a very good hey, description of your plan. Pay. Keep the change. Always do. Okay, I didn't know that scene. There's a scene in here with Drag that I haven't seen clips of. What can I get you? Don't say surprise me. So what's the latest in Kadara? The port's on the brink of civil war. The charlatan and the collective have been gunning for Sloane's throne. Thought it was all talk until they started killing each other in the Badlands. You're pretty calm about it. When you live in a place run by pirates, violence becomes relative. I'm not gonna worry until the shooting's outside my bar. How do you feel about Sloane? Do you like her? I like Sloane fine, but her protection fees can go to hell. She makes you pay for protection? Yep, and the price of safety keeps getting higher. Can't complain too much, though. The outcasts are my biggest customers. You mentioned the charlatan and the collective. Yeah, what about them? Who are they? <sighs> wow, you're new here. No one knows who the charlatan is. That's kind of the point. He, she, they, whatever, run the collective. They like to think of themselves as some kind of spy network. But they're just thugs. Might be a little smarter than the outcasts, but no one's got the moral high ground in Kadara. Thanks for the gossip. Part of the job. Were you a bartender back in the Milky Way? Yup. You like it? Nope. So why do it? It's familiar. If you wanted familiar, you're in the wrong galaxy. I am where I am. Bartended on Thessia for 200 years. Thought I wanted a change. Turns out, change sucks. Actually, I'm okay. Whatever. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this episode off here, and I will continue along in the next one. In the meantime, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and as always, Keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.